Hey guys, welcome to All Things Animals. This is Colby, and today we're going to be talking about the real world Timon and Pumbaa, the meerkat, and the common warthog. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of any upcoming videos. This video was inspired by the new Lion King that came out in July. Let me know in the comments section if you guys prefer the 2019 Lion King or the 1994 one. We're going to start this video off with a trivia question. What African country inspired Disney's creators of the Lion King? Is it A, Nigeria, B, Kenya, C, Namibia, or D, South Africa? And the answer is B, Kenya. The creators of Disney's The Lion King were inspired by the landscape in Kenya. But they took some clear dramatic liberties when introducing the animals in the movie because meerkats do not live in Kenya at all. In fact, meerkats live thousands of kilometers from Kenya, as you can see from the diagram on the right hand side. They're native to Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa, living in desert and shrubland habitats. Warthogs, on the other hand, are present in Kenya. They're distributed throughout Sub-Saharan Africa and live in savanna woodlands and grassland habitats. The distribution of the meerkat and the warthog do overlap in parts of Namibia, South Africa, and Botswana. This means that there is potential for them to interact in the real world. So let's look at what the warthog and the meerkat have in common. Both species are excellent diggers and live in burrows. Meerkats and warthogs are both diurnal, meaning they're active during the day. Both species also consume insects, roots, and eggs. That said, meerkats are considered insectivorous and warthogs are considered omnivorous. Warthogs primarily eat grasses and roots, while meerkats primarily eat insects, arachnids, and small reptiles. Although some people think meerkats are immune to scorpion venom, they're actually just well adapted at removing the stinger and brushing off any venom left on the scorpion before consuming it. They are, however, adapted to the venom of some snakes because they're part of the Herbestidae family, also known as the mongoose family. Another similarity between warthogs and meerkats is that they're both very social animals. And they both produce altricial young, meaning that they're in an undeveloped state where the parents need to provide all of the care necessary for them to survive. A different example would be a uh, robin, which has featherless young until a certain age. Socially, warthogs live in sounders, which are made of groups of females and their offspring where males are living off on their own, similar to elephants. Meerkats are also highly social animals. Meerkats live in groups of 20 plus individuals, and they have really interesting duties within these groups. For example, this video shows an adult teaching a juvenile how to catch and disable a scorpion before consuming it. Another important role is as the sentry, or the watch guard where one meerkat will sit on top of a log or something else that's in a higher position and look for eagles, snakes, and other predators. One adaptation that makes this possible is the dark patches around their eyes. This is similar to what a baseball or football player would do putting black marks under their eyes for the purpose of reducing the sun's glare. So we've now learned that both warthogs and meerkats are social but how would they interact in the real world as if they were Timon and Pumbaa? 
Let's watch this next video and find out. As you'll see, the warthog is pretty chill around the meerkat. It doesn't seem to be bothering him at all. The meerkat, on the other hand, seems very disturbed by the presence of the warthog. So it looks like there's a lot of dramatic liberties taken when producing the concept of Timon and Pumbaa's friendship. However, the creators of the Lion King may have been inspired by the warthog in a different species, one that's closely related to meerkats and happens to live in Kenya and forms a symbiotic relationship with warthogs. This is the banded mongoose, and as you can see, it looks somewhat similar to meerkats because it's fairly closely related to them, both of which belonging to the mongoose family. Warthogs spend a lot of time in long grass or near other plant life such as bushes and trees, so they tend to get a lot of ticks on them. In many parts of Africa, the common warthog and the banded mongoose have formed a symbiotic relationship where the warthog loses its ticks because the mongoose will clean the ticks off of its body, providing a win-win situation for both species. This is also known as mutualism. The mongoose benefits by gaining a meal, where the warthog benefits by losing a tick that's sucking its blood and could potentially carry disease. So it looks like the Lion King got a few things wrong about warthog and meerkat biology. But I still think they make for a great duo and are pretty awesome together in the movie. With that, that brings us to the end of our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, All Things Animals, if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section below whether you like the 1994 animated Lion King or if you like the 2019 live action remake. And while you're there, let me know if there's a species you want me to cover next. Thanks again for watching the video, and Hakuna Matata.